the spider's web and it is time for our cultists to be finished off so we have a clean palette because the other one basically disintegrated so what we have to do is dis find out again what colours we used so it was rack earth flesh for the skin it was a mix of screaming skull rack earth flesh and scrag brown for the pale part of the cloak there was scrag brown for the darker parts of the cloak and then for the hem at the bottom and the boots it was um, Ujima flippity jib it wasn't it um, it was dryad burke which we used also for the staff handle the um, metal bits the necklace and the end of the staff was done with uh, Retributor Emma. Uh, we didn't bother with the Tash and the Her, so we're going to be adding that one. And the uh, narrow part of the trim round here was done just using Screaming Skull, which we're going to enhance again. So let's put these to one side. Okay. We'll get out the Screaming Skull. So these are colours we're going to be using today. Screaming Skull Scrag Brown Rack Earth Flesh Dryad Bark And, well we did use originally Retributor Armour, I don't think we're going to use that one this time um, we will probably use something like Auric Armour Gold. There we are. So that's what we're going to be using today. So everything else can be pushed back. We're also going to have to use something for the um, for the moustache of the character. So let's, I'll think of that a little later because we have other things we need to do first of all. Um, why are you saying that? I think what we might do is use. Why have I got two tubs of Incubi Darkness? I don't think I've got two. Um, no, there was another colour I wanted to use for the moustache. And the other colour is Eshin Grey. So that's what we're going to be using for the moustache. That's it. Okay, so they are the colours we're going to be using. So uh, let's push on the other corners to one side, push these to one side, get our trusty little brush out and let's make a start. So first of all we're going to be putting the scream of sc Screaming Skull on the palette. I'm going to put quite a bit of this on because well, there's not just one model I'm doing, even though I'm doing only one model on the uh, on the camera. Um, <clears throat> so we'll get that out, we'll wash this brush out, give it a bit of a wipe, and we'll get a fairly narrow brush, which will be our size zero. We'll give it a bit of a wash to across some of the master's stuff on it. There we go. A little bit of water and straight into the screaming skull. And on this we're going to be using it basically just along this edge yeah, that I keep putting into my own shadow and we're just basically re-establishing it we're not doing it all over we're just adding a few bits here and there
Oh yeah, that's it, that's all we're doing. But obviously all of the um, screaming skull isn't just going to be used for that. <laughs> Next we're going to be using our mix, well actually what we could do is use our scrag brown first of all. We need to add a lot of this because again we're going to be mixing this with um, I'm going to actually use what's on here just to add a few spots here and there and there and here um, Kind of about like that. And there we go. That's what we'll do there. Next, what we're going to do, I don't know why I'm washing the brush because I'm going straight back into the scrub brown again. Da, 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 so we're going to have a little bit of scrub brown and predominantly much more of the screaming skull. We also need some of the rack earth flesh as well. So let's pop some of this on the palette as well. Okay, and we'll pop some of that in there just to grate it down a little bit. We've done Way too much of that, so I want some more of the Screaming Skull in it. And we just wanted a little bit of Scrag Brown just to warm it up a little bit. this brush for it because <coughs> I've got better brushes now to use. So what we're going to use for this is our number one Rosemary and Co Red Sable brush. Let's use this one. And we're going to be going into this mix we've just done. And this is going to be going on the bright areas of his robe, just like so. And this is the one where we're going to be using it. Oops. This is going to be one where it's the broadest um, highlight. I think we're going to be doing these are quite detailed in regards to the 
folds so we're going to be doing a little bit extra with these ones in comparison to what we did with the others but not a great deal more probably it's just probably just an extra highlight just to pick out the folds and the creases a little better Anywhere where the, um, the wash is pulled up where we know we don't need a shadow, we just go over with this colour to brighten it. Like so. Just add some more little light touches here and there. Which one of the tops of the arms? Again, I'm not worried about the mold lines on these ones because. Well, let's face it, they're not very good models. As I've said time and time again when I'm doing these, they're not brilliant models, so I'm not fussed about them too much. Oh, yeah, and now we're going to be adding some more of the um, rack our flesh onto the model. This time we're going to be using the fine detail brush because we're going onto the face. Now we're going to the rack our flesh. And the hands and go across each of the fingers, or go along each of the fingers, and the thumb, along with the top of the hand as well. <coughs> Just like so. And that will do for the highlights of the hands. Well, the highlight of the skin, shall we say. And then what we're going to do as well is go into the um, Eshin Grey. Now this we're not going to be doing too much of. Um, we'll just add a little bit to the palette. There's not much of this going to be used, but we do need some on there because we have more than this model to paint. Um, so we're into the Eshin Grey. I'm picking out the moustache 
and the hair. What we can do as well um, while we're here, no we can't, change my mind, you can do that. Add a little bit more of the Screaming Skull into that mix we use for the cape. And we're just going to add some more details to the cape with the same narrow brush, just using just a few little lines going down. Just so we know that. We have some highlighted areas on. There we go. Just to pick out on the details really of the of the robe, all the creases. We're not doing a vast amount of highlighting to this mini. But we do want just to pick out some of the, the details that we have. There we go. And that is that. And now, finally for this model, it's the turn of the Auric Irma Gold. This is coming straight out of the pot because with it being gold it's very, very watery anyway. With it being metallic paint. So it's um, all settled at the bottom so it's needing a damn good shake. See if this is any better. Not really. Um, oh dear. Well, I'll get one of my old brushes and give it a good start. Um, that one will do. Sometimes you have to do these things, especially with metallic colours, because as you can see, they all lump up, it all lumps up at the bottom. <laughs> We're doing well. We're doing well. And that's why it wouldn't. Um, what's the word I was looking for? It's just a case of highlighting the gold areas. Just like so. And then the little necklace he's wearing and that's it it 
Enclosure Court System. And the next step on the job is to apply the paste like we've done with the others. Um, and what I've also done with the first lot we did with the zombies and the witches, we've put in the new card on the bottom that comes with the second edition. Because let's face it, that's what I'm going to be using these with. So, uh, yeah, so once that's uh, done, if, oh, I've forgotten, we haven't highlighted the, uh, the bottom of the, um, the cape and the ujit and the staff. So we'll just add some dryer bark. Down there. Also add some dryad back there. We'll take some of this colour because let's face it, I don't think there's going to be enough there to uh, do on the other six. So we'll take some of this now and then mix some fresh up after, and that will do for the. Highlight of the bottom of the um, bottom of the robe and the shoe, and we're just going to just roughly just add a line to as close to the top of this trim as we can. There we are. That's him. So I say it's just a case of get that base covered with the dark earth, like we've done with the others. Insert the card, and we're done. So I just need now. As you hope you can see the difference now. Look a lot better. <laughs> so it's just five more to do, and then I can call the cultists done. And the newly painted one can go in as well. And that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time when we'll be doing probably the... Um, whatchamacallit? The head cultist. Take care, God bless and bye for now.